Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be looking at AGIX again. Before we jump to the price section, just want to say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out for free to join. Okay, so we're still looking for that potential of forming a fourth wave here. And, uh, you know, we've got a couple of ways we've been talking about this potentially playing out. Uh, some of them, just to go over them again is the potential of looking at this whole move as a triangle where we're looking at this as potentially a b looking for this to be a c wave to the downside and then looking for that possibility of a d and an e wave here so what we're keeping an eye out here for is a three wave structure looking for something like this to play out um, and then looking for this to be a completed move so within the structure here we actually came down to this um 0.618 area um, and basically we found support here. So this is possible that we could actually have this as a completed more complex structure here. We'd have to treat it potentially as a double zigzag um, within this area. And basically within this, you know, we could look for this to be a, a completed C wave, looking for that three wave move to the upside. It's not the most ideal structure. So I'm just being cautious that we could have other structures here developing. But if we do get a move back up, so typically this zone would be um, this 0 0.50 to this 0 0.49 area. If we did get a three wave move up into this zone, I would be on the lookout for that potential to see a further rejection in a E wave. Though we would have to still be careful because there would be other interpretations once again of what this could be. We only get confirmation of a triangle after we form the D wave, and then we have to monitor this E wave and see exactly how this plays out and reacts to the downside for that confirmation. Okay, so. Basically, what we were talking about, as well as this, was the fact that, uh, you know, we could be, we could already have completed into this low here, and that we could be looking for um, either this to play out as a 1 or 2, and then looking for a bigger third wave up towards this $1.21. Or alternatively, this could also just become a bigger A, B, and a C pattern, which is looking to potentially target out the 78 cent at a 1 to 1. We don't, we, we obviously are still holding the support range here. So this uh, 4056 to this 3315 area. And we could look to actually look to progress up here, but we need to wait for that confirmation of structure. Until we actually start breaking above some of these X wave highs here of this 45 cent, uh, and this one here of this 5268, we need to be aware that we could still see some extension to the downside. So we're going to go over this in a second, but basically, you know, this is looking for that potential that we are either forming a bigger structure here as a A, a B, and then we're going to get a bigger C wave, something like this. Or alternatively, you know, we could actually be already looking to move up here where this becomes 1, 2, or A, B, and then we get a C wave up here, or potentially a higher move to this 121 as a wave 3. Okay, so basically what we need to do is discuss the internals here, uh, because they are... Other ways of looking at this, like I've said, you know, potentially we can also treat this as a bigger corrective structure where this becomes ABC, this becomes an X wave, and we still have a potential move down towards this 25, 24 range. So because of that fact, we need to just be careful here. Um, we could be forming this as a W and X and then a Y. So the one to one of this as a W wave would actually take us down towards this 31, 34. And basically within this, we need to just be careful because it is also possible, and we're going to go over this, that we could have something like this developing as a C wave because we've actually come down and we found support here at this um at this 0 0.618 um uh, sorry this 1.382 rather of this wave to the upside. So we need to just be aware there is that potential that this could be just a flat correction and then we could reject further. So we need to keep an eye on some of these um zones here. This 45.51 all the way up to this. Uh, a 54 cent range this could be an area we actually look for a rejection so typically speaking if this is a flat this zone here this 47 cents 86 to this 45 51 this would be a typical zone we would look for a rejection based off of this move to the downside uh, that would be a 0 0.382 to a 50 percent so these are these are some of the things you know we need to just keep in mind as we are looking at the structures so within this you know if we are looking at that possibility that we rather have this as a WXYX and would actually completed the Z wave into this low, 
This could then actually mean that we start to see a push to the upside. In the previous video, we were talking about that potential of having a breakout um, from higher up here, but we lost this low. And we were talking about the fact that, you know, it was really a really deep retracement, which was making it less likely. And we just failed to develop to the upside here. So these things happen sometimes, um, you know, we plot them out and then we have to just see how they react. So now what we're left with is if this is a Z wave completed, Potentially, this could mean that our B wave low is in now, in which case we could actually start to form a bigger five wave structure to the upside. So this is what it would look like. Um, this is what I would be looking for here for confirmation. Looking at this potentially as a completed wave one up into these highs and looking for a wave two retracement. So we've actually come down into this 3933 area already, which is a 50% retracement. And basically, the way I'm currently looking at this is that this is A, B, and potentially C into this low. So, you know, we could come down a little bit more here. Be keeping an eye on this zone. We don't want to lose this 3783 um, if we are looking for this continuation here. And basically what we'd want to see is just a three-wave move down here. Basically A, B, and C. And then actually looking for this move to reverse back to the upside. Get a bigger five-wave move up towards this 48 cent for a confirmation. If we lose this 36.74, we need to be careful because that would then indicate that within this structure, um, you know, potentially this has just been a corrective wave to the upside and we could see, you know, a sell off lower down here, potentially into some of these lower areas here of this 31.15 to this um, 36.49 area. So this is where we'll be looking at. If we start to lose this uh, 33 cent range, it starts to become less likely that we are going to see, you know, that continuation up, but we'll have to just see exactly how these waves play out. So this is the bullish case. So for as long as we hold this 3783, I will be looking for that potential to at least see another leg to the upside here, whether this just becomes A, B, and C, and we only move up to this one to one, which is up here at this 44 cent, or whether we get this bigger five wave structure up into the zone of this 48 cent region, you know, this would then tie in with that idea of having a bigger structure. If we do form a five wave move up here like this, basically what I'd be looking for is looking for that um, three wave retracement again to the downside, coming back into these zones, looking to retest these areas here, this 39.16 to this 42.69, and then basically looking for continuation to the upside. If we, like I said, if we lose this 36.74, this invalidates this bullish potential that we have off of this low. Okay, so what um, what other outcomes could we have here? So the other way that I'm looking at this is that potentially we could have a bigger micro, um, sorry, let me turn this off. We could have a bigger corrective structure here. So either, either we could look at this as a bigger, you know, this is our X wave and we're looking for a Y wave, which that one to one is down here at this 25, 24, where we could actually just be completed this X, this W wave, and we could either be starting this Y wave where we have this as an A wave, we form a B wave up, and then we get a C wave to the downside, which could look to push us towards this 34 cent range. Or alternatively, you know, we could push down lower towards this zone of this 31, 34, which would be a one to one of this W wave. So we're going to have to just keep an eye on this um, one to one of this move based off of this current high. So that's based off of this high here would actually take us down to this 34, 20, uh, 211 area. So if we do start to break down here, we need to just um, be aware that this could be, this could be a C wave that was looking to play out here and could lead to a sell off down towards these areas here. And then, you know, potentially from there, we could look to possibly see a move to the upside, but we need to just be careful because if this starts to break down too deep, you know, potentially, um, you know, we're getting a bigger structure here. Because of the time it took this move to play out, if this is the case as a W wave, you know, it could take a similar amount of time for this um, for this Y wave to play out, which, you know, if I just throw this on here and put it onto there, I'm going to just drag this across now. So that would be looking towards the 17th of April. So, you know, there's a bit of time here that we could still see this develop into a bigger structure where we actually come down one more time here, possibly even and retest this channel. Though it's not necessary, you know, we could just form a more sideways move here where we get this as an A, B and a C, something like this, and we actually break down 
um, you know, one more time into these low ranges here. But that one to one an area to keep out with an eye on would be this 25 uh, cent range. So that would also potentially look to bring us back into this previous structure here. And we talked about this in the previous video, that if we're looking, um, this is a typical fourth wave area, this 3390 uh, 3, 3, to this 1571. If we start to lose 1571, basically uh, we'd have to start looking out for that potential that we're coming back down deeper into this re lower retracement box, which would be at this 1556 to this 0552. And then, uh, you know, if we start to lose these lower ranges here, this uh, 0676 and this 0552 region, you know, we have to start being on the lookout for the fact we could have that more bearish scenario playing out, which we've talked about in previous videos, where we actually look to take this low and then hit, um, you know, a lower target here. So basically what we need um, for that bullish confirmation to the upside is starting to see uh, moves up and taking out these key areas. We actually is coming back and retesting, you know, the lows of this sort of, the support range here we need to be careful because if we fail to hold this zone you know potentially we could look to this um breaking and then we actually have a, a deeper sell-off here if we do hold it what i'm going to be looking out for is the fact that you know we could argue that within here we're setting up a head and shoulders uh, inverse and basically you know we could see something like this in which case we look for that push to the upside afterwards if we do break and find support above that neckline so that that's just basically what we're looking for on the the um on the bigger scale here um i did say we need to be careful of a flat this is um this is something i am looking out for here instead of looking at this um you know as the beginning of a c wave or, or a y wave it is possible we are still within the bigger X wave here, and we could be forming something like this as a flat correction where this becomes A, we have a B wave down, and then actually we look to form a C wave to the upside. So that, that C wave target could potentially be up towards this 4720 uh, area. And what we would be looking out for here is that potential of forming this as a one, two, three, four, five, something like this coming up into these highs here, and then Basically, from this point, getting a rejection to the downside, whether that's in a three-wave move or a five-wave move. But basically, if we do form a five-wave move up here, um, and we take these lows down here at this uh, 36.74, that would indicate that we have a flat correction in this area, and then we could be looking for um, a lower low towards this, or a lower move towards this 30 cent 32. So, need to be a little bit cautious with this. Uh, basically, you know, we're looking for that possibility of a bigger flat here. This would be an expanding flat. We do need to be careful because these can be um, running flats, in which case, basically, our target zone is a lot lower here. It's uh, the minimum would be this 40, 40, 40 cent, 43, and then the high, and then one to one of this as an A wave would actually be up here at this 42.89. So just need to be careful. We are sitting right in that rejection area though, um, in, the, in the other count. So we need to see if we actually start to break down here. You know, this 42.21, we need to get back above this area if we want to look for bullish breakouts here. And uh, really until we actually take this X wave higher here, you know, we can't we can't get rid of the idea that, you know, we have a direct sell off to the downside here towards this 34 area. But even if we do take this high, we're gonna have to watch how this reacts. You know, potentially we could see a move up into this, uh, into this 50% area, which would be this, uh, 4786 and then we actually look to reject down so this is what i'm looking out for here you know potentially we could see a break to the upside here this move has started nicely um but it, it needs to follow through basically until that follow through comes on we need to just be aware of those um, bearish scenarios that are still on hand here and uh, could lead to more of a sell off so we were discussing we we're discussing as well the idea that you know potentially we could have some kind of a diagonal in here um, to the downside or potentially even a five wave move and uh, that's why we need to be careful really with this until we take this high of this uh, five nine two one still need to be on the lookout for that possibility of a bigger five wave drop to the downside here um, looking at something like this where this becomes a one two and then we're looking for a deeper wave three towards this 1921 area um, we were talking about this possibility of having something like this as a five-way move here. So what I'm on the lookout for as well, as well as those other options, is if we form something like this, you know, we 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 start start to form five, sorry, start to form a three-way move back up here. 
um, you know, get rejected below this, well, below this high of this uh, 59.21. And then we could still look for a deeper sell-off here. So this is the bearish scenario here. You know, we need to get back above some of these key levels and uh, continue to push to the upside. Otherwise, we could start to break down in a much bigger way. And we could look for these lower target areas here and, you know, look to actually break down much deeper and uh, head down towards some of these lower zones. And basically, what we'd be looking for on the on the bigger picture here would be to see whether we actually break down as deep as this uh, 1921. A move past this 1921 would basically make us have to look for that possibility of having a fourth wave to the upside and then another five wave move to the downside for a you know a fifth wave down towards the 1713 to this 1474 area. So this is going to be key. You know, if we start to break down deeper, keep an eye on these sort of targets. We need to see whether we can maintain these lows here sitting at this 2447. Uh, if we start to lose that, I would be anticipating a drop back down to some of this other structure here and, uh, you know, retesting those areas. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. As well as that, you will find affiliate links for both Primex, BT, and Bybit down there, both great exchanges that we use on a regular basis. If you do not have an account, using the affiliate link does help support the channel, and we do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.